We're about to find an area again of a region enclosed by this slightly complicated curve. And I did graph it on Desmos, and that's right here. Now I graphed it twice. In the orange, it went all the way around to make this tear shaped right here, or whatever shape you would call that. Then I graphed it from just pi over two to three pi over two, and that gave me only the left side. So my function here has some symmetry. I'm gonna take advantage of that. So I'm only gonna go from pi over two to three pi over two. So I'm only gonna get the left half and I'm gonna double it. So we're not gonna get the right half. We're just doubling the left. I'll probably forget to do that at the end of the video, but you won't forget to do that. Okay. So we need to figure out, we're going to go with horizontal, which would be a dy integral, or vertical, which would be a dx. All right, why is dx a bad idea? Here's why. What's the top function? The top function here is different than the top function down here. Uh, and not only that, uh, that's the y value, so it's this sine t. So it's the, actually the same function with different t values, so you'd have to reparameterize it, and it would be a huge pain. So you have a different top and bottom, and doing that would be an, very annoying. You could do top minus bottom, but reparameterizing that function is not going to be so fun. So let's undo all this. Let's think about the dy integral. I do dy, you have to turn your head sideways. Actually, that would be the bottom, sorry. So the y-axis is the top function. And the y-coordinate down here is the bottom function. And if I do this, I have a dy, so it's integral x dy. I do know the endpoints, pi over two to three, pi over two. Uh, this is half of the area. Okay, so what is the x? So what's the top function? It's x equals zero. It's the vertical line, also known as the y-axis. So that line right there is x equals zero. What's the bottom function? Bottom function is whatever they gave us originally which is the, you'd be careful, it's the x function right there. So it's 14 cos t minus seven sine two t. So that is x. I can distribute my negative. So it's negative 14 plus seven. All right, so that's my x function right there. My regular y is six sine t, so dy is the derivative, six cos t dt, and that is dy right there. So ready to make these substitutions. Okay, so how do you integrate this? Well, one thing you should do is distribute. Uh, this cos squared that you're gonna get, well, it's actually quite a few cos squares. Uh, 60 is at 84-ish. So that right there is, you're gonna use the half angle formula to reduce the power. Now, the other one, seven times six, that's 42. 
Okay, so the first integral, you're going to have to use an identity here for sine 2t. And if you have a choice, well, you want one, maybe if you can turn it into just sines, uh, or maybe sines and cosines, and get that antiderivative.